and how Venetian fights. That's the end of round number two. And of course, we've mentioned it, but December 6th from Tokyo, Japan, the Tokyo Dome, our next K1 pay-per-view will be the K1 World Grand Prix Final. As we've said, Musashi, Ray Sefo, Peter Graham, Alexei Ignashov have all made their way there already. We'll name the rest of the field tonight as it unfolds. Peter Arch with the left hand of the body. There it is again. Just slips under the elbow. Not much damage. But Venetian has done almost nothing to build up any kind of points in this fight. So I would have Peter Arch ahead right now by two points. It's not a bad fight plan for Peter Arts either. Well, he just needs to win this fight. He's got his eyes on Tokyo. It's as they not a tournament the night. He doesn't have to go again That's tonight. Right. That's right. There's no advantage in an early knockout, really. If he wins the fight, then he's in. Round number three of this three-rounder, Gerald Venetian from Holland, 32 years old, 6'1", 220 in the blue trunks. Peter Arts, the K-1 legend, the three-time K-1 World Grand Prix winner in the red and black trunks. And he'll mix it up as much as Venetian wants, but Peter Arts just wants to be done and win. One of the few kicks we've seen from Arts tonight, well placed though. You're allowed to grab the opponent's leg, throw one technique, and then release. Uh, nice, that's the best shot of the night for Venetian, just clipping the nose of oh. Peter Arts, but then he pays for it fivefold. See Venetian backing off, right hand hurt him again. No, you can't do that. Arts trapped in the ropes. Being warned by the referee now, by Adokawa. Venetian not to do that. Like a spider going after a bug trapped in the web. Venetian went after Arts thinking he had a great opportunity. No fighting when the fighter is impeded. This is round number three. Venetian is behind. He is way too passive to be thinking about winning this final decision. He has got to get going. That Arts. is some heavy leather being thrown by Peter Arts. Those aren't real fast punches, but they are heavy. Well, it's something that they say you can't teach someone to do is hit, is hit hard. You can teach them to hit harder, but certain fighters can land the hard stuff and certain guys never can. Peter Arts always has been able to. He's had that natural knockout ability. 50, One minute left in the fight. 56 KOs. For Peter Arch. Will he get one tonight? He's got one minute left to make it 57. Look at him move forward constantly. Peter Arch on the offense. Nishian a little busier now. No real damage though from any of those techniques. Too Take late. Yeah, too little, too late for Venetian. Well, not a bad knee strike, glancing as it was from Venetian to finish off the final seconds of his battle with Peter Arts, and that will do it. I don't know why Venetian has his arms up in the air, but maybe because he survived Peter Arts. Well, at least the third, the third round was closer. Venetian was able to do a little bit. Arts did enough to stay ahead. I'd have had that last round a half point for Arts, but he's well ahead of Venetian on the judges' scorecards, in my opinion. I agree with that. Not that it means much more than what you just said. But. Well, we're not the judges, but <laughs> we, I'd give it to Arts. He, he did what he needed to do. That's his best punch of the fight right there, that right hand. Venetian can take a shot. Say that for him. He can say to his grandkids, look, this scar is from Peter Arts. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't win the fight, but I took some good shots. He just doesn't have enough experience, I don't think, to be fighting guys like Peter Arts and winning those fights. I agree. He's got a lot of ring experience, but not here in K-1. And it is a different game. And bottom line is, it's going to the judges, ready for the decision and the announcement. 
三十歳二十九赤ピーターズジャッジ友武高雄三十歳二十九赤ピーターアースはい。Ernesto, of course, winning his fourth last year. Peter Arts with a chance to match that feat. Arts with three victories, h o o s with four. That's seven of the ten that have been crowned so far. An amazing amount of history between Ernesto h o o s and Peter Arts in, in K1. I think Peter Arts is on the way back, but he's got to get further down the road to be able to win December 6th in Tokyo. It's going to be a different story. It's going to be tournament format again. He's going to be facing all tough opponents in Tokyo, and he's got a lot of work to do in the next 60 days. Well, he is a, a big, flying fighter, changing his style, maybe slowing it down a little bit as he gets older, but still effective as he's shown tonight. Well, he's, as I said before, he's always been able to hit hard with the right hand. That got him through again tonight, but he's got to, he's got to build up on his,、uh, his speed. He's got to get his feet back under him, his kicking. The guys he's going to face December 6th, that is a, a war he's going into. He's going to be facing the winners from tonight, and we see what they look like already. They're not going to be the caliber of Gerald and Ishien, and he's got, a, he's got a lot to do. He's got to get in the gym, he's got to become the Peter Arts of old. Peter Arts, much beloved here in Japan. And he will take the time to greet the fans, slap some high fives, smile for the fans. His gloves are off, so I've seen him sign autographs on the way out as well. He is a, a huge favorite here, maybe second only to Bob Sapp in popularity. We go back 10 years to them seeing him here in Japan, fighting some of the biggest battles and winning them in front of this Japanese audience.